hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time i'm gonna be doing a short set of almond nails and y'all when i tell y'all i have not done this shape in like so long y'all like some years i feel like but it's a really pretty shape um so of course i've already prepped the nail i'm going in and applying the nail tips remember that the most important thing when applying nail tips is making sure that you apply the nail tips exactly from sidewall to sidewall that way they're the perfect size and they're not too big or too small that way you don't get any breakage or lifting after you've applied all of the nail tips i'm going to go in with my tip cutter and i'm just going to trim them down to her desired length after this we're just going to do the same thing on the other hand and then we're going to measure both hands against each other to make sure that the nails are all the correct size Alrighty, so after that, we're going in with the 8080 hand file and we're just going to go ahead and start shaping up the nails. You could go in and just trim the sides down like we usually do, but all of my straight edge nail clippers were in the barber side. So I just went ahead and started um, shaping them up with just the hand file. So as you can see, I just followed the sides in and I just alternate from side to side. That way my nail does not end up crooked and you're basically like shaping them into like a a coffin except for you round the tip off and then depending on like how rounded or pointed your client wants them then of course you know you could just file um less or more but she wanted like that almond shape so that's what i ended up doing so same thing on both sides and like i said you know just round it off at the tip so super easy and simple shape to do um she's actually working or she works at a hospital she's a nurse so of course she can't wear her nails super long so i feel like this was a nice length and shape for her to wear that way she doesn't poke through her gloves because usually she wears the little nails um but of course you know with her working at a hospital that's impossible to do so i feel like again this was a, a good shape you know it's still giving her that um not necessarily a stiletto shape but it's still giving what it's supposed to give you know <laughs> but now um i'm just gonna go ahead and finish shaping up all of the nails but remember y'all whenever you're doing this making sure that you're watching your shape as you're falling that way you don't overfall on one side that way your nail is not leaning to one side more than it is to the other Alrighty, so after we finish shaping the nails, I just dust them off and I'm going in with my JC Beauty Concepts Primer. I'm applying that on all of the nails. And then for my acrylic, I'm going to be using the JC Beauty Concepts Clear Acrylic and of course their monomer. And then the brush that I'm using is my Oval Brush by Alpha Brush. And I will be sure to leave all of those links down below. And then also I had someone, I can't remember her name when I'm sorry, but I had one of my subscribers asked for me to do a three ball method with the acrylic so i went ahead and placed my first one and of course you know as you're working make sure that you're wiping your brush off a lot cleaning around the cuticle area as well and this right here is my real speed so you guys can see how gentle i am whenever i'm working i'm not just going in and doing some really um hard strokes like y'all i'm going in there like super super gentle because i don't want to brush any of the acrylic off I just want to make sure that it's on there nice and smooth so the next bead i'm going to place right below that one so same thing place it down patting it down and very gently brushing down towards the tip and even though these nails are short you always want to focus on building your apex and having a good thickness at your tip because if not your nails will break off super super easily so 
that first beat kind of just gave us you know a, some structure and then the second beat gives us thickness at the tip and then the third be bead y'all can't talk the third bead is going to give us that apex that we want and you know it doesn't have to be just a huge apex because again the nails are short but just to where you know your nails are not going to break off if you were to bump them on something or you know going through your purse or whatever the case may be they're not going to just break off super easily um and then also excuse my brush y'all i've had this brush for so long so the little hairs are acting a little crazy um but yeah so that was a three ball method so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing so placing the first one as you can see i placed it pretty close to the cuticle area and then just brushing it all the way down towards the tip and then as you can see i did have a little bit of acrylic come off so i just wiped that right off and then continue to brush the acrylic down wiping it off if i need to going around the cuticle area because we don't want any skin i mean y'all say any skin we don't want any product on the skin because we don't want to get any lifting but same thing so after we finish laying down the first bead i'm gonna go in with the second one and i'm gonna place it right below where i placed the first bead patting it down and brushing brushing down towards the tip and remember y'all look every time that i wipe that acrylic i wipe my brush off on a paper towel because i don't want that product to get stuck to my brush because then it's going to continue to build up and build up in my brush and then it's going to be really hard for me to have a smooth application because the acrylic is just going to be you know super sticky and just getting stuck to that brush so make sure that you are doing this and sometimes i feel like especially whenever i'm watching my video like this and doing a voiceover i feel like okay girl you was exaggerating but no like that's really how I, like how much i wipe my brush off when i'm working um so the last bead i just placed closer to the cuticle area patting it down brushing it down towards the tip again and then cleaning around the cuticle area and that's gonna be it for um you know that three ball method Alrighty, so now I'm going to go ahead and speed it up and I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys watch. But it's going to be the exact same thing that I just did on the ring finger and that middle finger.
Alrighty, so after we finish applying the acrylic on all of the nails, I'm going to go back in with my same 8080 hand file and I'm just going to reshape the nails. So of course they're already that shape that we want. We just have to go in and redefine the shape because after we apply the acrylic, it takes away from our shape. So just going in on the sides and then just rounding off the tip as well. Um, so we're just going to do this on all of the nails and then we're going to move on to the next step. Alrighty y'all, so this is what the nails look like after I reshaped them but before I went in to do any filing with the e-file. As you can see, super nice and smooth. We have a nice little apex and thickness at the tip. So this is what your nails should look like after the acrylic application. But I know a lot of you guys are beginners. So if your nails are not as smooth, um, then of course, you know, you just have to go in and do a little bit more falling during this part um, but I'm just using my uh, actually this is an extra fine drill bit I'm using it at 10,000 rpms but you just adjust yours to whatever speed you feel comfortable using it at and just get to falling and of course as you're falling make sure that you're looking at the nail from different angles that way you know exactly where to file and where you need to you know get rid of some bumps and lumps but as far as me, I'm just going to go in and file around the cuticle area, going from the right side all the way over to the left side, and then of course, filing the rest of the nail as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that on all of the nails, and then we'll move on to the next step. Alrighty, so now we're going to go in with the buffer and we're just going to buff all of the nails to get rid of any of those scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. After we've done or after we finish with all the buffing, we're just going to dust the nails off and then wipe them off with an alcohol wipe. Or you can have your client wash the hands, whatever is the most convenient or easiest for you.
Alrighty, so as far as the nail art, it's going to be pretty nice and simple. I'm just going to be using a few little um, colors. So these are by Madam Glam. And then at the end, I will be showing you exactly which colors I used. But I'm just going to go in with my small nail art brush. And this is basically going to be like the little, I think it's called abstract nail art. So um, we are going to have some negative like space, which means that, you know, some parts of the nail are going to be clear. Um, so we're just doing polish just randomly on the nails, like around the cuticle area on the tip. But all nails are going to be different. But again, I'm just using my little small nail art brush. I will have these back on my website on my next restock, which I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on that. But we're also going to be doing a different color on each nail. So again, these are the gel polishes by Madam Glam. I'll be sure to leave the link and the promo code down below.
Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go in and apply the top coat. So we're just gonna do that on all of the nails. And then I'm gonna cure this top coat for 60 seconds. And then also the polish, I only applied one coat and then I cured for 30 seconds. Alrighty, and then these are the colors that I use. So we have Grassy Sassy, Perfect Pink, Blissfully Yours, we have On My Way, and Spring Fling. So this is what the nails look like. They turned out really pretty. I definitely love that shape. So cute and simple. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at GetNo32, and I'll see you guys next time.